Welcome to Quack and Co, the board game channel where every video is 10 minutes or less guaranteed. And today, I kind of have a question for you, a conversation that I'm interested in having. Do you open, punch, organize, but mostly take the plastic seal off of your board games? Now, I'm not sure how many people out there are like me, but I have some reasons why I, I don't. And, and the reason I'm thinking about this is because I, over the weekend, just played Zia Legends of a Drift System. And today I was thinking about doing a full uh, kind of conversation, first impressions, a dive into this. And then I was like, but I have a copy that is unopened. So what are people going to think? That I really did play it, that I played a friend's, that I'm weird because I haven't opened the copy that I have. How can I talk about first impressions if I haven't even broken the seal? Well, like a lot of the games I actually have in my permanent collection who are still in shrink, I have played them with friends, possibly even covered and filmed them with friends. But even before content creation, I wasn't the type of person who would rapidly open, punch, unbox, organize, or break the plastic seal on a game, even if I had played it before, even if I knew that I loved it. And I have some thoughts. By the way, if you're curious about our first impressions of Zia, oh man, this game is right up my alley. Open world, space exploration, so much freedom to do whatever you want. Alex and I are planning some video content on it, and Shira, at the moment, absolutely hated it. Shira is the type that an open world game system that has some dice rolling doesn't feel like it has enough agency if you're playing a competitive mode. So she likes something that's a little bit more Euro, a little bit more... Uh, pinpoint. Whereas I just love the storytelling and, and don't really care if I win while I still would like to win. I also was just thinking like, I'd love to just move the victory points up the track. Let, let me finish the mission that I'm on. Let me just do cool things. We're going to try this cooperatively uh, or solo uh, and maybe she'll have a, a more compelling time with it then. But again, back to the conversation. I have a few other examples here. For instance, Alice is Missing, a game that I backed on Kickstarter well over a year and a half ago. Not opened up. Not opened up because I haven't had a chance to play it yet. And I know that because, one, it's not opened up. I cannot wait to play this game. I'm excited to dive into it, but keeping it in shrink is just sort of how I operate. Or the Railroad Inc. Collector's Box here. Now, I will actually take the Collector's Box shrink off, but for instance, red and blue, I probably won't open these up until we're ready to sit down and play them. You see, Rail Railroad Inc. has a ton of little modules in it. And every module pack will be a new pack that I open up, that I bring out to dinner, that I take on a date night, that we play one step at a time. And I have no desire. I want to store these inside. But other than that, I have no desire to pop the seal and open up all of the other modules because I, I just... I don't need them available at the moment. So let's talk about the logistics of this. And let me just go ahead and show you. You see all of these pop out. And then uh, this piece, I think, squeezes out. Come on, you. Well, somehow, this comes out, this comes out. And then I do what I want to do, which is put these away in the correct spot, just like this. And uh, there we have it. That's the amount of shrink wrap I need to open up. Now I'm satisfied, one at a time as we play through the collection. So let's talk about the logistics of this. Why I think some people open up games and why I personally don't, I have no desire to. So first and foremost, why do I theorize people open up games? Well. You're excited. You want to read the rule book. You want to go through and punch the components, get it ready for play. You want to, you know, look at all the miniatures, start painting, start getting it set up, run it solo. There's a lot of reasons why. But if you're not immediately ready to play the game, a lot of times people are just excited. They just made this brand new purchase and they can't wait to see what's contained inside the box. And I agree with that. I, I love doing unboxing videos and showcasing the pieces and opening things up. And, and I, I enjoy doing that on camera. Uh, but if I'm not putting a game on camera, I almost never do it in my personal life. Now, why is that? 
Is it that I'm not excited about board games? No, not at all. I absolutely adore and love board games. I love this hobby and I love the experiences I have with people. The reason why I hold back is one, admittedly due to content creation a bit more now, because for instance with Zia, I wanted to film a first impressions video, but I'm not quite ready to produce the full uh, unboxing video yet, which is also a plan. And so keeping it in shrink allows me to do a dedicated unboxing video, which is good for content creation and just leaves that in the arsenal. That's true for all of the titles here in the studio. Popping the seal feels like a potential missed opportunity if I decide that I want to showcase it down the road. But something like Alice is Missing. I I'm not doing an unboxing video of Alice is Missing. I, I might do a review if I really love the game. It might not even be a game that is fit for content. It might just be something that I have and enjoy and play, play in my personal time. So, why do I not open this up? Well, I like knowing that a game is going to stay squeezed, kept together, protected a little bit with the shrink on the outside. As you travel and move and bring it up and down from the studio to another shelf, it, it doesn't get dinged or damaged. I, I actually like how games store when they're still in shrink. I, I find it really frustrating when tokens are spilling out all over the place, when boards and trays are pushed, when miniatures have to fit back in in the perfect sequence, when cards in a small box like this make the top lid not quite fit right and fall off to the side. And I don't like stacking them, you know, up tall and some of them like this and whichever which way they, they prefer to be stacked in the calyxes. So I like keeping games in shrink for storage reasons, for protection reasons. Uh, I, I don't want the game to get damaged, and I do think it protects the out of the box uh, for a longer period of time. I also think it holds on to value for a longer period of time. Uh, having this opened and punched is not as good of a value as having it sealed. Now granted, I intend on playing this, but there's a lot of games that come through that I purchase, that I back, that I support, that I learn about after I actually get them into my hands. Bargain Quest would be a good example of this. A game that I backed immediately because Shut Up and Sit Down told me how great it was. And after about a year and a half of learning and watching and realizing that my tastes don't always align with Shut Up and Sit Down, I became a little worried about it. I did some more research, discovered that not everyone was in love with it as much as they were, and then I actually sat down and played with a group of my friends. I have three or four different gaming groups operating most all the time, we get a chance to go to conventions and just do a lot of board game content. And I played Bargain Quest, and I didn't love it. So why would I open up my own copy? If I'd punched it earlier, it, it wouldn't retain value, I wouldn't be able to sell it as effectively or cleanly, and I would have had to deal with all the cards and extras and promos just sort of spilling and mixing out around the house. So my preference is to, yes, play the games and dive into them. But if I'm not going to play my copy immediately with my friends, I, I just don't have any strong desire to open them up. I have a lot of amazing miniatures and a lot of amazing games, and so it's sort of this weird catch-22. Now, that's not true necessarily with my favorite game of all time. I, Kingdom Death is a game that I aggressively love to open up and look at the miniatures and see the artwork and, you know, talk about and think about the expansions. So I do have a bit of that selective desire just to see stuff, just to be there. Uh, but it's definitely mitigated by some other factors and other conditions. Like I said, I just played Zia. I love Zia. And I'm probably going to play again today or tomorrow, but it'll be with Alex's copy. When this one gets opened up, it'll be because either my group doesn't already have it, I'm ready to unbox it, or I'm diving into it solo on the channel myself. So let me know, do you actually open up your games? Or like me, are you an oddball with 20 or 30 still in shrink games in your permanent collection that you can talk confidently about and tell people how great they are, despite the fact that seemingly you've never opened them? Remember, less time watching means more time playing. This is Quack & Co. And I'm curious to see what you say down below.